Hello dear my groupmates, in this tutorial I want to show you how to use Visual Studio for Mac for computer graphics class. I will start from the beginning, from creating the new project. When we click to the new project we have to go to the other section. In .NET section we have to select the GTK 2.0 project with C Sharp. So we're gonna create a project with the main tutorial for, for computer graphics. graphics. So we don't need a git version controller, if you need it, you can add git version controller system. So let's create our project and let's wait. So when we open our new project, we uh, will see a program CS opened. We're gonna need to uh, change the layout of the Visual Studio to the design layout, because it's comfortable to use. So here we see main window CS and program.cs and we see different kind of folders uh, but we are going to need a user interface folder and also the main window folder, main window file so when we open the main window file on the bottom of the screen we see source and designer when we select the designer we're going to see a designer screen but we can access to this to this screen from another place but we, first of all we have to close the main window.cs file uh, another place is to access that designer. We should open the user interface folder and select the main window. So here I, we see that it, uh, we can do nothing here because when we are going to add a button, it button fills all the screen and we can do nothing. We can we cannot add anything else here. That's why we need a containers. Containers, if you look at the toolbox, uh, there is a lot of widgets and after the widgets comes containers. You have a lot of containers like Fixit, Frame, Hbox, Vbox, Table and etc. So I am going to use a Vbox container. I am going to add this, select and add this Vbox container to the main window here. And we see that it creates three different containers so here we have to we see that we have top middle and bottom containers with top container we can on the top container we can add the main, our menu when we search for toolbox there is a menu bar we can add menu bar here if we need we can use bottom container as a um, as a state status bar and middle container going to be our main container which is going to be the main things as is, as you see I deleted the bottom container because I, I don't need it so here in order to create a menu we need to select it and click one more time and type our first menu item then we need to create an action for this file menu like open save as and exit so for our homework we need live so I will put it like this start and stop so our menu created now what we need is just to design the inside of this main container so again when we are going to add here a button it is going to be filled so we don't need it again in order to continue with this we need a new container inside this container so what we're going to do is uh, that we are going to add their fixed container inside this main container so when we add this as you see that it is it's not filled that's why and it's selected so we have to go to the properties and here we see uh, auto size property inside the box child layout we have to deselect the auto size we should select expand and we should select fill in order to fill this container so when we are going to add here a new button it is going to be placed wherever we want and we can move it around so in order to do actions on Visual Studio for Windows we have to 
double click to the items to to give it to give it another actions so but here it's different we have to for example if you want to do something with exit we have to click to the exit then we have to go to the properties and properties to signals in this signals area we see action signals activated change toggled toggled means that when we click it it is toggled so when we we are going to click this toggled and we are going to add our new handler in other words our new functions name for example i'm going to add here then exit exit function and i will click to enter when i click to enter this this uh, function named exit created on main windows main window cs.cs file when we go to the source file we'll see that it is created but it's created two times because I clicked to enter two times but it should not be like this so so we have to write our code here and we should we should do other things as as it is for example if we want to if we want to do something with this button we have to go to the signals and under the signals we see a lot of a lot of uh, actions so but we need button signals in button signals we see the clicked I will add new function clicked to button and I enter it and we go to the source we see that click to button function appears here so our code is going to be here uh, let's run our project and see if this works or not so there is an error here let's ignore this and delete this function maybe it's it made something so let's run our project again uh, okay let's delete that function something maybe I did something else uh, I deleted function that's why so it worked so we see that we have a main window with options here and our button so we can do whatever we want here thank you for your attention Good luck.